Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel, it's Tom over at Gas and today we're finally getting back on the ML uh, 164 chassis with a 642 engine in. Vehicle recovered in, suspected blockage in the exhaust. We've done a quick scan um, with the diagnostic machine, it's got a stored fault with the exhaust back pressure. We've had a look at the actual values at the time, it was reading about four and a half bar at standstill. Took the sensor out, obviously no pressure there, which is what we'd expect. So we know that the sensor is faulting. Um, instead of just putting a new sensor in, sending it away, there's most probably a reason why the sensor's got to that reading in the first place. So instead of putting a new sensor on, we've done some tests with the exhaust back pressure. So we've put our exhaust back pressure gauge on there. I'll see if I can get some clips up now of when it originally came in. So you can see excessive amount of exhaust back pressure. We've done some tests. So we've got the exhaust back pressure sensor located on the intake manifold. Uh, with it being a V6, we've got two manifolds either side, and then this EGR pipe comes up and um, read your exhaust back pressure sensor there. So it looks like ML642, full of rev up, struggle to start, stored fault, the B16 exhaust back pressure sensor, reading four and a half parts, stand still. Now, uh, just a faulty sensor or bigger issue. So, what we've done, if you can understand the picture, we've got the intake manifold, we've got the turbocharger exhaust manifolds, that little EGR pipe. So the sensor sits about here. So excessive pressure there. So what I've done, just a quick check. I made a little blanking plate real quick. Just really want to just eliminate any pressure in the intake manifold. So we start it up, no pressure there which is what we'd expect. And then what we've done on the vehicle, we removed this back exhaust piece of the back of the turbo. There's a clamp there, three bolts back of the turbo, which is revealed this little exhaust piece. That piece there. Uh, we've unbolted the cap from there. Uh, so this exhaust piece that comes off the back of the turbo, it did actually have like a little uh, mesh inside. So that could have possibly been blocked on that piece there. So like I say, unbolted the cap. I've used my air pressure tool basically just put some air pressure about one and a half bar through the system put it on this pipe here um, and there's plenty of pressure coming out coming out there easy to feel with your hand really uh, there didn't seem to be any blockages so then we moved on to the cap and then what we've done is we put the tool on again at the top of the cap, we got the cat off the vehicle, tested the cat and there's no pressure coming out, or slight pressure but 
definitely a restriction in flow. So we can safely say that the, the cat's blocked. But what I thought I'd do, just to be 100% sure, is I basically reconnected everything on the engine side, left the cat off, and I'll just show you the exhaust back pressure. So as you can see, back pressure's no longer, which confirms our um, initial diagnosis to a block cut. So it's, it's a nice bit of proof there as well. So what we'll do is we'll speak to the customer, see if you want to buy a new one or used one. Um, I'll speak, speak to them and then we'll let you know the outcome. So I spoke to the customer, he's gonna arrange to get the cut cat cleaned out if you can so when that gets back we'll put it back on the vehicle we'll put a new sensor on it as the sensors um, as the sensor needs replacing anyway as it's stuck with four and a half bar so when we get the cat back we'll get it back on the vehicle and then we'll just give it another test with the back pressure gauge just before we put the new sensor on and then we'll just also come look at the readings on the diagnostic machine, just make sure everything's working as it should, which I'm sure it will be fine. Yeah, thanks for watching this short video. Uh, I hope it's helped explain a bit of the, how the system works. Like I say, it's, it's always handy to have a nice little big whiteboard, just gather all the information you can on the sensors or part of the vehicle you're working on. Grab some pens, nice big area, you can kind of draw out and kind of eliminate different different parts. I'll find that handy anyway. Uh, what do you lot think? So yeah, like I say, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel if you've not done so already, uh, give it a share. And uh, yeah, thanks everyone.